Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Super Symmetry. Last episode, we did uh, something insane, incredible, amazing. We uh, we made a we made a bunch of high voltage motors and a bunch of other stuff too. I don't even remember what we made. We made a bunch of stuff. Well, this is how we start high voltage by picking these guys up, putting them in our inventory so we can get the quest completed. Now we just gotta begin with the next part, which is making these, which requires stainless steel. Oh my. Uh, yeah, we, d we don't have the stuff we need for this right now. <laughs> we gotta make a stainless steel. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, now that I've produced some stainless steel, let's go ahead and make these things. First, we're going to go ahead and make a, uh, a pump, which will require this steel rotor. Which is not exciting, but uh, we do have steel screws on hand. We don't have many steel screws. I can probably just chop up some of these rods and the saw and throw them in the bolts right away. We might even have some bolts just lying around, honestly. Which we could easily then turn into screws, but not right now. Now keep in mind it takes about four of these per rotor. So we're gonna go for 32, which will give us like eight rotors or so. We don't need many. We're not making many HV pumps. Hopefully not. Uh, if I have to make 60 HV pumps, I'm going to die. It's This is insane. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to have to do that. I think it's mostly just going to be uh, e extruding these. Um, like, eight of them should be fine. <laughs> like, this what I mean. Uh, also, why the heck is this not connected properly? Hmm... Now, downstairs where I got the, um, the storage area is nice. We have... This is not the storage area. This is gonna be the new HV area. We're gonna make this place very big because HV is big machinery. You got distillation towers. You have, um, a hundred machines for a hundred things. And they're all big. The other thing we need to do is make a stainless steel pipe of the three, size three, so it needs three plates. I think we can do this by hand. I, I, I definitely think we can do this by hand. I, I am assuming we can do this by hand. Oh my gosh, imagine if we made stainless steel foil. That would be a catastrophe. Pumps are basically the same at this steer. From what I understand, it just requires the same old stuff we've been using this whole time. These rubber rings. And then we can make a pump. No, come on. Where's my screwdriver? It's definitely in there. This is a file. Where they get- oh, there it is. Of course it's hiding from me. Okay, we got a pump. Nice. We'll hold on to that. And then we need to make a robot arm. But for make, to make robot arms, we need to make pistons. And to make pistons, you need stainless steel, and you need gears. Well, I have gears. I prepared those at the mold. To make rods, we're going to put two ingots in here. And then we're going to put six in the bending machine. That's three, four, five, six. There we go. It says four, but it always consumes one when it does that. That is our piston, and then we need to make the thing here, this guy. Well, after we make another piston first, then we make that guy. Oh no, we need more rods. Okay, well don't worry, I can make more rods, no problem. Stainless steel rods. And, uh, I'm not batch crafting these, unless it's the motors. The motors are what you're supposed to batch craft. Please only batch craft the motors. And lastly, this guy is the easiest, we could have made him from the start. That should get the quest done. Nice! And look at this. Oh my. 700 machines that have just been opened up. Including a clean room. And that's disgusting. We don't want to make a clean room right now. And it's very daunting. Uh, even though there's absolutely nothing here. I see two sides here. I see this side is all oil. Which I don't have oil down here. I do have barrels of oil. We have oil cracking, quenching. Quenching is for steel making, and that is probably something we're going to be getting into soon. To make a quencher, we'll save that for next episode. I don't want to do that right now, man. I want to work on my my high voltage area, my medium voltage machine room, and all of that. Now, one thing I do want to make is an advanced version of the what you might call electromagnetic separator. Electromagnetic separator. This guy here. Why? Well, this is a medium voltage machine, as you can tell, but the reason we need to make one is so we can do a whole bunch of goodies. Uh, basically, we can separate some waste products 
from our medium voltage, uh, our low voltage aluminum line. All right, we got the medium voltage machine hole. We got the uh, that's an advanced electric furnace. That is not an advanced electromagnetic separator. We do have uh, that guy. Okay, nice. And uh, he's on the next page now. We've started another page. Electromagnetic separator. Oh my. It requires completely different items. <laughs> and then, uh, also it needs coated wire, which I don't have right now. I'll coat some wire real quick. That's gonna make like two coated wires, so it's, it's, no, it's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. It is not enough. Now what we can do is shove red mud into here. This will process the red mud into a substance, I think. I, I don't even know what substance it becomes. It becomes something. It, this, this turns into something. Iron 3 oxide and concentrated red mud. Which is uh, able to be blasted into iron and, you know, red mud slag in a blast furnace at high voltage. Hey, guess what? We've reached high voltage. We can achieve this. We can do this. <laughs> and this can be centrifuged for rutile or titanium dioxide. Spicy stuff. Which this, uh, this powder here, this becomes titanium, or well, can become titanium if we do everything right. So we mix this, uh, no, if glue it becomes. That is. What does this do? How do you get titanium from this? How do you get titanium from this, please? Gaseous titanium tetrachloride. That makes sense. That also makes sense. Okay, I like both. Um, and it just requires carbon. So from there, let's go for the next step, which is vacuum freezer. Impure titanium tetrachloride. Oh my gosh, distillation tower. Well, this is titanium distillation. This chain is insane. It goes on forever. And then, you, uh, once you finally reach the end, it requires massive, gigantic, whatever they're called, um, coils. Can fall. What the heck is that? But then, at the end, you get titanium. And it's insane. You have to be insane to do that. How on earth do you achieve something like that? That is insane. Anyway, so this guy is going to become important later on for making titanium and, uh, yeah. Is already important for stainless steel, as this can be used in the process of making the carburized stainless steel. The other thing we have to do today is make... Wait. No. I have a better idea. Well, we could make that right now, but... Nah. I got a better plan. I got a, I got a plan to make something else. We're going to make a battery buffer. <laughs> okay, I honestly don't even know what we're doing at this point, but, um... I'm trying to figure out... Let's see what we need for superconductors of the next year. I'm pretty sure we need to make another thingy. Uh, to make liquid oxygen or something. Which I'm not doing right now. Uh, superconductor. Yay, let's see about that. Superconductor, medium voltage superconductor can superconductors. Uh, that's for medium voltage, of course, but uh, we have the... What about batteries? We're just looking at batteries. Oh my. Okay, how do you make this? Mixing- oh my gosh! Holy crap, it's insane. I don't want to do that right now. Okay, I think I'm done for today.